Hello, in this video I'm going to explain why for a 3 force system, the three forces must all intersect at the same point for the object to be at static equilibrium. So I have this object here experiencing three forces. F1 is applied at this point in this direction. F2 is applied at this point along this direction. And there's a third force F3 is going to be applied here. In which direction must this force be applied? such that this object can be at equilibrium. Since the object is at translational equilibrium, net force should be zero. The object is also in rotational equilibrium. That means the net torque should also be zero about any point. If we consider moments about this point, then F1 has no turning effect about this point. F2 is going to produce a clockwise moment. So all we can say is that F3 is going to produce an anti-clockwise moment. If we consider moments about this point, then F2 is going to produce zero moment about this point. F1 is going to produce an anti-clockwise moment. So all we can say is F3 is going to produce a clockwise moment in order for the net moment to be zero. Now, what if we extend the lines of action of F1 and F2 and we consider the moments about the intersection point? About the intersecting point, F1 is going to produce zero moment. F2 also has no turning effect about this point here. So is F3 going to produce a clockwise or anti-clockwise moment? The answer is neither, right? F3 should also produce zero moment about this point because net moment should be zero about any point including the intersecting point here. This means the line of action of F3 should also pass through this intersecting point. So F3 must be directed along this direction. That's why we have this rule. If an object experiences only three forces and the object is at static equilibrium, then the three forces, if they intersect at all, they must intersect at the same point. Because if two of them intersect at one point, and the last one doesn't, then the net moment cannot be zero. Get it? Ta-ta!